So I did not know this about Lin Pease on OSCP. If you've watched my recent video, you, you must have seen that uh, Lin Pease was, there was some stipulation on one of the features of being an auto exploit that you weren't allowed to use. And to be honest, I didn't read every fine detail in this article. I am going to show you the final verdict on this. I know it's been in the comment section a lot, but you know, a lot of people probably haven't seen the comment section of that video. And if you're just finding me from your YouTube suggested videos, this is definitely something to know. I got to clear this up. I want to be providing 100% accurate information as much as I can on this channel. Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Now, this was the article that I was referring to with uh, Linpees being uh, one of the features being considered invalid for the OSCP because uh, it had an auto exploit with the uh, su the sudo token, right? It was an auto exploit to create a set UID file for a privilege escalation in the Linpees enumeration scripts. Now, I read this article and I read most of it. And to be fair, I feel like they should have included this at the top because it's very important information. I don't know. Just a thought here. But th this was literally the last line. Uh, one of the last lines. Uh, it says that, as for Linpees, we have reached out we have been reached out by the creator that the script has no auto exploit features in it. The tool is okay to use as long as you do not use previous versions of the script that have the auto exploitation capabilities. So this is a little tiny two sentences tucked away at the bottom in the final statements. But if you literally read the rest of this, it kind of makes it out to seem that you can't use this, right? Because it says, hey, this is what happened earlier today with a student and they failed their exam because they use Linpees. <laughs> and then they say, yeah, it's a well-known script. And it says that when, uh, when reviewing the report, you know, there was an auto exploit feature in there, the sudo token vulnerability, which creates an executable binary tested in the background. And if it works, then it will provide a command that the student needs to run the executable in order to escalate your privileges to obtain a root shell. And they even show the snippets, right? They're talking about it. It's like, okay, I guess I can't use this. This kind of sucks, right? And then you keep reading it and it's saying, hey, you can't use any of these things, right? Anything particularly, uh, where is it? Auto exploitation tools. That's what they're saying this is or they're insinuating that this is. And then they even say, given how it was executed, automatically exploit it leading to a shell. Now, they didn't provide the context early on that they're referring to an older version of Linpees, right? At the time of this guy's exam, the current version, I suppose. But they don't clarify that to the very end. So they make it out to sound like uh, that you can't use this, right? And it says, however, it's a very popular tool. And, the auto, and this automated exploitation is a newer addition that not all users know about. So even that line, right? Even that sentence makes it out to sound like, okay, the newer versions are not uh, acceptable to use on the OSCP, right? I mean, am I wrong here? <laughs> and then it says there was no intent on the part of the student to cheat. So, and they knew it was an honest mistake. So in this situation, they granted him the points for it and he passed the OSCP, right? And I think that's what they're talking about in this next part. But the situation brought to our attention on the impacted student reviewed inside in this instance to provide the points, which in this case... <laughs> led the student to receiving a passing in, uh, outcome, right? We made this decision as a one-off, as it is a complex circumstance with no ill intent. And then we want to talk about this publicly as we want to avoid any additional confusion, our stance on not allowing automatic exploitation in the OSCP exam still stands. Automated exploitation tools are not allowed and you will not be provided points for flags obtained through the use of these tools. Why couldn't they just clarify it at least there, right? Honestly, I feel like they should have clarified it from the beginning, right? It should be apparent from the top, like, hey, the newest version is okay, but this is what happened before, right? The current version is fine. This is what happened before, but no. <laughs> they make it sound like you can't use this. So when I read this, and I read most of this article, just not this, these last couple lines here, 
the final statements. I'm like, oh, final statements. This is just going to be a summary. That's what went through my head. Like I was like, okay, this is like a summary section. So I just skipped on. I didn't really read this final statements, right? And so, yeah, they're talking about, yeah, blah, 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 important lesson. Don't use tools like this that are auto exploits, basically. And they're defining what an auto exploit tool entails. And it's on you to understand what the tools do. And blah, 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 right? So I read all that. I was like, well, okay, then I guess I can't really use this tool. I scoured the internet and I couldn't find anywhere else that saying it was allowed, right? So I looked at WinP is allowed on OSCP. And I mean, there's this Reddit post. This is from March. So they're just like, don't use the current version, right? I read it here. And, uh, I remember reading somewhere, someone's like, yeah, just don't use the current version. And so I kept scouring the internet to find an answer to this. And I don't know if there was anything about LinPs here. Yeah, check version number, right? And I even looked at an article, I can't find it now, but an article which pointed out the specific lines. If you watched that previous LinPs video, I saw those lines of code in the current version. So I was like, okay. I guess I can't use this, or maybe if I delete those lines, that function to do the sudo auto exploit, it'll be fine. I wasn't quite sure, but yeah, you have to read this entire, like all these final statements because they sneak it in at the end. So they say in the final statements, for those that are planning to take their OSCP in the future, please keep in mind that tools which perform automatic enumeration are allowed during the exam. However, tools that perform automatic exploitation are not allowed during the exam. So even then, they're just giving a general statement. They're not even speaking on LinPs until the very end. So we also find it likely that the result of the automated exploit would be easy to overlook in the student's situation. It should not have been a deciding factor for passing the exam. Uh, therefore, we have readjusted the result of the student's exam grade, which re in return was a passing grade on the OSCP. They're basically reiterating what they said, right? Everything to this point is a summary, right? They talked about this earlier. They talked about this earlier, right? But then on the third paragraph, it's not a summary. It's completely new information because they say, as for LinPs, we've been reached out by the creator that the script has no auto exploit features in it. The tool is okay to use as long as you do not use previous versions of the script that had the auto exploitation capabilities. And then if you ever have a question, and this part is pretty important too. I definitely want to highlight this. If you have a question about whether or not the functionality of a script slash tool goes against the exam restrictions, you can reach out to challenges dash at dash offensive security.com for guidance. So I know a lot of people have been asking this type of question in my comment section. And of course, to the best of my abilities, I'll try to answer it if I, if I know, but if you are really concerned, if you're truly concerned and you really you know, you understand basically this, whoa, I don't know what's going on here. You basically understand this part here, right? And based off of this information, you still can't determine, is this allowed, is this not allowed? We can always reach out to them right here, right? And then you'll know 100% for sure because this is by offensive security. So just wanted to highlight that. Hopefully this video helped clear things up. I don't want to be spewing false information out here by any means. So I had to make this one. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to just get into some content now, you're like, okay, I understand you can use LinPs. Let's move on. Let's learn some stuff. Let's move forward. And then check out my what you need to know for OSCP. Definitely be using LinPs in some of those videos. I, I am pretty, pretty sure. So yeah, I'll see you guys right over in those videos. And thanks for watching as always.